Captain Crunch. The New York Times linked a trainer who worked with Derek Jeter at one time to the pharmacist who was at the center of Al Jazeera America's report connecting HGH to several high-profile athletes like Ryan Howard, Ryan Zimmerman, and Peyton Manning through his wife. The report doesn't have any evidence that Jeter did anything wrong or took any PEDs. Still, the Times report did connect the trainer who has worked with Jeter. So, Andy, is this going to be an issue for Jeter in any way? Uh, well, the Players' Tribune coverage has said that it's not an issue for Jeter. <laughs> now, until he buys all the media, it's a small issue. Well, who's there? He's working on it. Uh, yeah, That's my right. question. Now, look, it's not a good look. It's not a story. I'm sure that Jeter, who's very sensitive to how he's written about, seems to think that when everyone wrote he was the greatest player ever for, like, 20 years, was covered harshly. Yeah. Uh, so this, I'm sure, was not a happy day for him. Uh, there's been a lot of goodwill with the public and with his fans built up over those decades where this story's not going to eat into that. That. Of course, it makes you wonder if there's going to be anything. I mean, if there's there's one story now. If in a couple of years there's a couple other little things that trickle out. I mean, I'm not saying there will be, uh, but it could be the beginning of a, of, a, of a negative thing for him. Or it could just be something that dies on the vine. And if this is all it is, I think that's what it'll do. I just want to know how you feel about it as being a Jeter apologist that you are. I don't yeah. feel as though I think I am a realistic Jeter viewer. I've respected the man who's only represented greatness throughout his time here for the most part. And honestly, I think you hit it on the head. Right now, there's nothing. There's no, nothing. There's no, and by the way, with the Al Jazeera report, there's still a lot of questions with that. You know, Zimmerman mm -hmm. and Howard have taken right. the step of suing. That was them. surprising because that stuff can come out in a lawsuit. So right. that does tell you something. Right. And, yeah. you know, and, and again, Peyton Manning through his wife, we, we don't know exactly what the situation here. But just because you worked out with the guy doesn't no, necessarily I mean he I, I honestly would be shocked. The one Jeter, above all guys, I would be shocked. I've always said that. You know, we, Jeter and I had our ups and downs over the years. But I honestly believe that he, 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 when he, used, to, he used to refer to this, not really say it, but he would never want to embarrass his, his parents or his family. I think that would he would be mortified if he ever did anything that would embarrass them in any way, and I think he, this would fall into that category. Quick final word. Uh, I mean, Jason Riley helped Jeter a lot uh, back when everybody was writing him off, that his career was coming to an end. I mean, he had a real uh, revival under this guy working with him and, and loosening up his, his ankles and his hips and, and getting more range when everybody was killing him, especially the defensive metric guys like John were crushing <laughs> him. And, uh, you so know, you're so all he had, on this. He had you're a lot on this, on this report. No, no, I'm just oh, saying that okay. this guy really really helped Jeter. I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to follow it along the, along the way here now that it's come out that he's got this link.